Hi, this is Genalizer. Uh, please forgive me. My voice is about shot. I want to go through this as quick as I can while I still have, uh, while I can still talk. Uh, this is the update to the prior, previous video <clears throat> on the new um, redesigned bubbler. As you can see, I've now added some of my fittings. I actually have the um, trap on the bottom. It is not glued. I you know, do apologize to that. It's not glued, but I do have fittings on the bottom. I do have this completely put together. And what I'm going to do now, as you also notice, I've got a small tube in here. One of the drawbacks to this design, and I'm, I'm you know, giving you uh, at least one of one of the drawbacks to this design is that once this is together, it makes it's difficult to take and get the tube running from the top of the unit all the way down to the bottom of the secondary bubbler. All right, part of the reason for actually adding the uh, fitting at the bottom of the bubbler was to make this next step easier. Uh, okay, once this is actually in place, you'll not be able you'll be unable to actually get it back out again. So, and again, this is just, this will simulate that I've got it actually glued. All right, so my recommendation is, is to take and run a small tube through and down prior to actually adding the secondary bubbler, okay? Once you've got that in place, you can go ahead and hold back the tube, run the secondary bubbler up in and thread it to the male fitting that you now have securely glued in place at the very top. Continue to screw it down until it's good and firm. All right. Now, the reason I like and suggest you use four inch tubing and inch and a half inside tubing is it gives you the ability to get your hand in and turn. You know, you need to do that. All right. Now, once you've actually got your in, a secondary bubbler inserted and in place, now you can go ahead and install your uh, tube. Actually, I probably will actually add a straight fitting and not a 90 so that all I have to do is just pop it directly in the bottom and that'll be fine. But put your tube in place. You can actually stuff a little bit up in if you want, and then you can cut it off at the top if you wish, or if you uh, want to take and run some tubing up inside and store it, you can. Um, I don't necessarily recommend that. Uh, my final version will actually have just enough length on it, so what I would do is pull the tube up enough and leave a little bit, okay, and then I would cut it off. However, for the for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and just run it back down inside and fold the tubing up inside of it, okay? Obviously, the next step then would be to use the uh, 3-8 tubing. Uh, like I've shown in, uh, in the past, you'll want to run the 3-8 tubing over top of the, the small tube and run as much as you can at it. You can actually put a little bit of water on that uh, and it'll take a slide uh, slide in there real, real easily. Okay, I'm just going to slide it in just a little bit. Then you can go ahead and push it all back down in and like so. Then you can take it run it to the other side. I probably also, by the way, will take these fittings and actually replace these with a couple of the 90s. That way it'll come straight over and make a very neat uh, package. Instead of having it over the top, I can come out and have it run just about this much. Okay. Now, another drawback uh, to this particular uh, design is the fact that once it's all together, and if you are using um, PVC or ABS, you cannot see into the secondary bubbler to determine how much fluid you have in there. Um, I don't have a good solution for determining how much is in there. However, be aware that the secondary bubbler does not have uh, electrolyte. It is just plain water. What you'll want to do is measure the amount of water that you've got to put into your secondary bubbler prior to putting it together. And then when you're ready, 
you can, you can fill the uh, secondary bubbler up. You're probably asking, well, that's going to be a difficult chore too. Well, maybe a little bit. What I've done is I've put together for myself out of some scrap uh, ABS. It could be anything, but just out of some scrap pieces I've had. And actually, this was, the, was going to be the start of uh, one other uh, bubbler. Uh, I messed up on it, uh, so I left the uh, uh, trap on the bottom and, and sealed it and so forth. And now I've got something that I can take and fill the reservoir with. What I would do, and he's, no, I've got a, a, a hose, and on the end of the hose, I've got a valve. So what I would do is put water in here, measure my water out, put it in here, uh, turn the, the nozzle so that it uh, doesn't allow any uh, water to come out. You can then take your bubbler nozzle, go to your bubbler, okay, and find the end that is that goes to the uh, secondary bubbler and in my case it's this one pull the other side all right which is for the gas escape pull the other side and now you've got this this tube just hanging all right you can take this tube and connect it like so to this reservoir and then of course turn it on hold it up and the water now will go down and into the secondary bubbler and you put as much as what you've measured into there okay